My name is Tashi and you're watching Beauty in the Bar. Today we're going to continue with the How to Get Into Law School series and we're going to be talking recommendation letters. Letters of recommendation. Um, this can be a very nerve-wracking part of the application for people who have social anxiety or people who usually aren't comfortable asking for help and sometimes that is a big overlap with people who are highly ambitious, independent, and the type of people that are looking to get into law school. The first thing I want to talk about is who you should ask for letters of recommendation. What you want to do is cultivate relationships with the professors and people in your professional life. If you are coming straight out of school, that's going to be your professors. If you are a working professional, that's going to be bosses. You should maintain relationships with professors if you are in the working world because it will uh, benefit you to still have letters of recommendation from those people and have a mixture between the professional and the personal. The further out of school that you are, uh, the more you can lean towards your professional relationships as opposed to your educational relationships with your professors. If you are still in school, you should focus on professors that are in your major. Schools generally like to see um, that you have a recommendation in your core subject, in your subject of expertise. So it's good to have professors from other majors as well, but you're going to want professors in your core competency to be writing your recommendations. And the way that you can cultivate relationships with those professors is to show up to class as much as possible, if not every class, have discussions with them, visit their office hours, do your best work, and potentially take multiple classes with professors that you enjoy. It's good to build up a rapport and let them really get to know you as a person and especially get to know you and your work and your work ethic. What you don't want to do is go for prestige over quality. And what I mean by that is you should not go for the most prestigious person that you have access to that doesn't know you well. If you happen to be best friends with Michelle Obama, then great. It's awesome if she can write you a great letter of recommendation. But if she doesn't know you very well and you can just get her to agree to it, but there's not a whole lot she can speak to that's going to come across in a recommendation letter. It's much better to just have a, a normal professor, somebody who, you know, isn't famous, isn't prestigious, isn't a judge or, you know, someone even in the legal community write you a letter of recommendation if they know you well and they can really speak to your attributes. That's going to be preferable over someone who it might seem very prestigious or who you might hope that the law school recognizes but doesn't know you very well and can't can't say a lot of authentic things about you when should you request recommendation letters i would say as soon as possible but preferably after your personal statement is pretty far along in the drafting stage because you want to give that to the people that you are requesting recommendation letters from you can flag for them that you'll be asking them for a recommendation letter to gauge their temperature much earlier. Uh, you know, if you have a person in mind, letting them know ahead of time before you actually need them to write the recommendation letter is great. And you can gauge how they feel about writing it for you. If they ask for additional information um, before they'll agree to write it, if they seem lukewarm, you might want to choose another option for a person to write your letter, but if they seem enthusiastic and they say, sure, I'd love to, you know, you've been a pleasure to have in class or, you know, you've been a great employee, um, that is someone you want to come back to once you have the, the other elements of your application together. How should you request a letter of recommendation? You should basically uh, come to the person understanding that this is not an activity that really benefits them and they are doing you a huge favor and giving you their time. And a lot of times the people that you're asking for letters of recommendation are going to be very busy people. They're going to be professors. They're going to be professionals. And, you know, they're giving you their time out of the goodness of their heart, really. Um, and so you should come to them with a lot of humility and a lot of understanding and do not rush them. If you can give them as much time as possible, that's great. No one likes to be asked to do something 
um, as a favor and at the last minute. So give them as much time as possible. And to make it as easy as possible on them, you want to give them a packet of things that will um, allow them to write the letter as efficiently as possible. This package should include your personal statement or a fairly developed draft of your personal statement. That way they can get to know you, they can understand as a whole how you're presenting yourself to law schools. It should also include a transcript so that they can um, get a sense of what your grades look like and you should highlight any courses that you've taken with them to jog their memory of which classes you were in. And it should also include a resume because it is likely that they won't know uh, about all of the jobs you've had or all of the things you've done on campus. So that gives them a good sense and additional things and qualities that they can talk about that aren't just coming straight from their mind. You basically want to jog their memory, kind of get an idea going about you as someone who's very professional and someone who's really trying to help them help you. And just giving them a simple packet um, is really going to aid in that and really going to make you look professional and you look like someone who's putting a lot of time and effort into this. And most people are going to respond to that positively. And what should you do if a recommender asks you to write the letter of recommendation yourself and just have them sign off on it. Uh, take it <laughs> as a huge gift. Um, I would suggest that you encourage them to write it themselves, but if it's something that they're going to be reviewing and signing off on and saying that they agree with all of the statements in it, then it really is a gift because you can go ahead and brag about yourself endlessly. Um, let them review it, make sure that they agree with all of the things that you're saying, and then, you know, put, put whatever you want in there. I mean, they're basically giving you a blank check to brag about yourself and um, present yourself exactly the way you want to be presented. A lot of times you will not be able to even see letters of recommendation once they're written. Um, you know, don't flout any rules. If there is a rule that you shouldn't see the letters of recommendation, that you are not allowed to have a hand in letters of recommendation, then do not flout those rules and let your recommenders know that it's not something that you can do. But if it is a possibility, then it can be a, a really beneficial to you to just go ahead and write um, whatever you would like to or need to. So that about does it. That's all the tips that I have for letters of recommendation. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, share, subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, bye.